in my eyes. Can you see them now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> Take your weather stripping out of your door. Electrical, we had five of you. We really. usually just do a little cut like that. Come on in for our cheer. Jordan, you're gonna lead us today. Woo! Let's go! Ideal on three. One, One two, two, three, ideal. where we put the decks, you know. So you remember and I remember. We gotta do that. Okay, pasta. All right, here we go, how are you? Fabulous. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Nelson is very kind and is going to paint our exteriors of our houses, but our panel has not been taped and, um, I don't know, paper? We haven't used paper. It's just covering the electrical box so it doesn't get painted over. That's all. But we want to install our lights first. It's easy. Um, it's just, you know, paying the night because you're like up here doing stuff. But um, yeah, we're just, I don't want to use that light in the, in the house anymore. It is so hot. Yeah. The, uh, no the fun. The rotisserie light? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing to call the it. Costco chicken light. It makes me feel like a chicken. Look at my shirt, got drywall all over it. You guys are almost done, right? No pressure, right? You gotta get a house done and graduate? No, no pressure. <laughs> There's still a lot of stuff to do. There's the flooring. We still have to paint the exterior, which thankfully Nelson's helping. We have to do grout on the tiles. We still have to... Did I say flooring? We said flooring. We still have to put all of our outlets in and all like the little face plates and everything get everything tied up gotta be excited to be done yes very i think everybody feels the same way we're tired i'm excited to finally like have a break i also work full time so you know it's i can't wait for vacation <laughs> why are you so mad bro i just want to sleep Next to the fan, this lights. one goes over here. Yeah. yeah, we need it. Thank you. The one for the shower, Carlito. Teamwork makes the dream work. Carlito is a great partner. Him and I, we communicate well. I'm looking for a tool, a tool, a tool. Oh my God. So if you notice here on this wood, <clears throat> it's like lots of little grooves and stuff. So when we cover the holes where I, I put this into the plywood, we have to put um, decks 
in it. Why can't I think of what everybody normally calls it? Putty, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyways, so it makes it like smooth. So with the wire brush, I just go over it a little bit and then that way it looks like it's part of the wood. Because you never would have known. So when you paint over it, you won't see it at all. Um, whereas if you leave it smooth, it's gonna be like, why is this like, little oh, spots smooth and then the rest of it's all. Are these parts where the hammer hit a little too hard and it left that waffle mark or? No, it's it's just the screw head. It's just, you just put that over it so it, it covers it. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be using your hammer on here because of that. And I did all this, so there there are a couple of parts and I can show you. I think there was some, one on the bottom over there. There's probably one over here too, but that's the reason why you don't use a hammer. Um, well, this one, like we had, I had to pull the nail out that was here. So you can see where the, the claw from the hammer kind of dug in a little bit, but it didn't like scrape it or dent it too bad. So I wasn't too worried about it, but there's some spots where, yeah, some people aren't very careful. And... But as, as long as you smooth it out like here for the wire brush, then it just kind of blends in and then it's mm -hmm. ready to be painted. Mm -hmm. It's just a little, it's not like I have to get crazy with it or anything, but I have to just prep it because Nelson's going to start to paint for us. I should probably go get a blue ladder. See, so Nelson was going to start painting um, this wall yesterday and then he realized, oh, I'm sorry. I'm scratching. You're probably going to hear that, huh? So yesterday Nelson was going to begin painting our wall and he had to stop because he noticed that the electrical box has not been taped off yet so that's why there's just some paint but that's perfect because now i can go back over it with this which i hadn't done before but see here where he did paint this like little one right here you can see that that smooth like where i went, bloop, 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 went bloop, and then smooth it out so that's why you're going over it with the wire brush because Otherwise, it's going to look like that. And you're going to be able to see that with the paint. And you're like, why is that so smooth? So, you yeah. know, but I'm going to go grab a, a ladder. I'll be right back. Ah, aquí también, mira ya. Lo pintó. Very hot. Not just because I'm sexy, but like I'm just really hot. <laughs> Isabel, so uh, how's it going? Great. <laughs> Are you asking me like because just in general or like as a personal thing? Because if it's like a personal thing, like it's integrity, right? <clears throat> this is literally my work that I have done, that I have put into it. And so it should be all uniform, right? I can't speak for everybody else. I don't know if they did it or not. I don't know, but I think that um, I'm out of breath. It has your name on it. Yeah, it does, and it should. They should look uniform. It doesn't matter that it's way up here. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna like scrub it as hard. Yeah, because you're not going to see the stuff up here. And I just noticed that we missed a couple nails. <laughs> But you know, if somebody were to get up on a ladder and they were to like work on their roof or something happened and then they notice it and they're like, why wouldn't they have done that all the way up here? Just cause I can't see it. Like should be, should just be part of, of what you do. You should have pride in your work and you should do it correctly. You know, especially outside work like this, anything on the exterior, it's, you know, it's the finished carpentry, right? So it's it's the stuff that that people are going to look at and your eyes going to detect things that are not done correctly you know it's just obvious whether you like it or not this is all i'm doing it's not anything fun and exciting 
I'm almost done. I think I did this a little while ago. I tried to use. Lisette? What are you working on, girl? Where's Lisette? Can you see we're filming here? Yeah, I can see. doing small tedious boring things that have to be done I'm covering the windows so that um, the shiplap and the trim can get painted and yeah we don't want any paint on our windows right so that's my job I'm just doing a bunch of little odd jobs so we just plugged up lights um, then I Got the wire brush and went over that stuff and so now i'm just taping windows and then eventually we'll go back inside and we'll work on flooring right now my partner carlito over here is working on trying to get our lights to work i don't think it's wax paper is what kind of paper is this just feels like yeah it's like butcher plate paper i don't know it's not it's just paper Nothing special or spectacular about it. All right. Um, yeah, with the window frame. And I'm trying not to. Oops. There goes my paper. Trying not to leave too much of a gap. There is, um, what is it called? The caulk behind that. So, you know, that'll be a little bit of a barrier if I don't tape it right up to it. And I was gonna tape the electrical box, but now I have to wait because our lights are not turning on. Construction heads now. Carlitos um, finishing up installing some of our lights. There's that one missing and that one up there. The shower light. He had to connect the switches so that these two lights would turn on. So I think he's almost done. I think he just wants to get another light. And um, until we have that, I think then we can probably get started on our grout in the walls, in the, in the, for the tile. And in the meantime, until that happens, I'm gonna go work on the flooring because I don't think I can tape the electrical box quite yet. That'll be the last thing that I probably do until he's completely done with the electrical. Is it exciting when you see like the, the light pictures? Um, yeah. I think honestly for me it's more exciting like once um, like once the vanity will come in and once the tile is done and once all those like little finishing touches are completed I think that's that's when you're just like okay this looks like a real home and ready to go to somebody. This is the piece, yeah, I was trying to use that piece over there, but this right here was cut off. So this little lip, it has to go underneath the following piece. So you 
push it in and it just snaps into place. Anyways, so I was gonna use that and then I realized that that piece was missing, so I can't use it anymore. And right now I'm just trying to uh, kind of just measure to see how big of a piece I would need to cut here so that it actually fits. So let's see, should be five inches. Yeah, it is. I think that that should work. We'll find out. Let's see. Well, I'm going to mark where my five inches is, but we'll see if it'll show with the pencil. Might not. Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. Five inches. Um, I'm just checking what I'm doing because I can see with my eyes that the line is crooked. So I'm just trying to see where my line is actually at five inches. And I'm going to mark it. There we go. Which is not like super necessary because I can put it here and this will cut a straight cut. But I just want to make sure that I'm lining it up with the correct spot. It's so dark, and then with that thing off, too. I can turn. Oh, Carlito's got the fan on in here. Oh, I think he's gonna turn the light on if you wanna wait just a sec. Hey. We have light, okay. we have light, okay. we have light. We have light. I mean, I guess it's tedious, I don't know. It's just. It's all part of um, the finishing touches for the houses. Um, yeah, the finish work is, so framing is rough end. So no one's gonna see that stuff. It's gonna be in the walls, you know, so your cuts, your cuts and your measurements have to be precise, but the way that it looks when you put it together doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look really nice. All the stuff that we're doing right now are like the finishing touches of the house. It's the stuff that your eyes are gonna be drawn to it's the stuff that people are going to see when they walk over to your house, you know. So it's stuff that does require a little bit more attention to detail. So it does take a little bit more time. Anything else you'd like to add with regards to attention to detail? Are you excited to, to be finished with this round and graduate? Yeah, absolutely. I'm super excited. Um, at first I was feeling a lot of pressure and I was like, oh, I don't know, we're gonna do this because the interior walls and, and our drywall, it really took a lot of time this time around. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Like with every build we've learned something new. So, you know, when you throw a wrench into it, you gotta figure it out and it just, it takes a little bit of time. But once we got all that done and figured out, everything else, we this is the third time that we've done it. So, you know, it, it's it's moving along. It's good, and I'm definitely excited for it to be over. I'm ready for a break. <laughs> My eyes. Can you see them now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we are live. I have construction heads now. How are you? Hot. Very hot. Not just because I'm sexy, but like I'm just really hot. <laughs> Isabel, so uh, how's it going? Great. I tried to use. Lisette, what are you working on, girl? Where's Lisette? Can you see we're filming here? <clears throat> yeah. I'll uh, I'll tell you my paper girls, but it's terrible. Wah wah wah. 
<laughs> Carlito, shut up. <laughs> it's not funny. All right, how are you? Fabulous. <laughs>